New details now about a shooting outside of a Chicago restaurant on Cermak. Two people are in the hospital and police are still looking for the shooter. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza joins us live from outside the venue. And Sabrina, you've been digging into the business's record. We have and neighbors have been telling us that they have watched this storefront change multiple times over the past few years. And after we did some digging, we found that Hugh Chicago actually has three complaints on file with the city's Department of Business and Consumer Protection. And we also found multiple 311 complaints against them as well. This morning, police were called just before 1 a.m. Evidence markers cover the street as a witness later walked with police along Cermak Road after a pickup truck drove by firing shots at Hugh Chicago, a business with an active City of Chicago restaurant and tavern license. They put up and over there shooting. He was with them in the club. Him. Yes. That same witness telling police that an off-duty officer was shot. The 31-year-old Cook County Sheriff Correctional Officer took himself to Stroger Hospital. Police tell us a 27-year-old woman was also grazed in her leg and face. An ambulance transported her to the University of Chicago Medical Center. Yeah, it was just three bangs. Cameron Bailey works across the street at Papa John's. He was closing up shop when this happened. I normally wouldn't still be here. And then I heard the, what I thought was knocking on the door. It was three knocks. I went to go look around. There was no one at the door, but then there was a crowd down the street. Uh, I guess it was gunshots. That pickup truck drove off, leaving plenty of evidence for police to sift through. Hugh Chicago did not respond to our requests for comment. And while police work to figure out who was in that pickup truck that drove off after this shooting happened, we've also been learning that this shooting was not the first to have been on this block on this sidewalk in the past year. More on that and how it's impacting nearby businesses on the CBS 2 News at 6. We're live on the near south side, Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Sabrina, thank you.